I'm your host, Pat Gunn. Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. So, there are two problems that I noticed with, um, with my previous recordings, and I'm going to try and fix them. The first one was that things are too dark. That's partly the fault of my using a mod that uses more realistic lighting, which makes the game look a lot better, but it's pretty bad for visibility unless I make sure that there's more light on the screen. So I'm going to try and use light spells more often to give us more light. The second thing uh, is that there was an echo, and that is because the recording software that I'm using, it captures audio both directly from the game and the microphone that I'm using to capture my voice uh, was being uh, was also capturing the sound from the speakers. So now I'm wearing earphones. So hopefully that won't be a concern anymore. So we are climbing up high Hrothgar to talk to the Greybeards. This is normally a kind of challenging bit in the game. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll make it up without facing too many really dangerous monsters. And I'm getting more goodies that I can loot from monsters that I do kill. Now, this is always a pretty dangerous trip. The path tends to be sprinkled with monsters that you can just barely take care of. Fortunately, it's pretty good if you want to get uh, various uh, lovers to level blacksmith. Oop. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. It helps, of course, if you can actually hit them. On the upside, I do have the Shout Now, Unrelenting Force, which will stagger my enemies a little bit if I hit them with it. It does have a cooldown. It doesn't use Magicka, but it just uh, takes a little bit of time to recharge. But that is often enough to give you a bit of an edge in battle. So if you notice this, this is... Um, there are tablets that we'll be passing the whole way up the mountain. If we wanted to, we could actually visit each of them, and by the time we uh, reached the top, we would get a little buff that would last a while that would stop monsters from attacking us. But that's not actually all that useful. There are a lot of other temporary buffs that we can uh, get if we want to. Uh, hopefully this is visible. Maybe it isn't. Okay. We're going to switch back to the sword and cut this wolf up. Well... Oh, where did the wolf go? The wolf is behind us. You can also stagger your foes by hitting them with the shield. Unfortunately, I'm now fairly injured. Oh, but I can level up and take advantage of the free refill of health that you get when you level up which is great. And I will spend the skill points improving one armed, which will be pretty useful. And sweep. And yeah, grab the wolf before he slides off the mountain. And let's get a little bit more light again because it's getting kind of dark. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to disable the sliding mod if this doesn't end up being enough light, which is unfortunate because it really makes the game look great, but the video recording software I'm using doesn't seem to actually be capturing the uh, light level all that well. Let's keep on climbing. Oh, what is that up there? That is one of the goats. Yeah, so there are a number of critters in Skyrim that are not interested in attacking you. Ah, oh, looks like the goat fell off the mountain. Pity, otherwise could have made some leather out of them. 
But yeah, there are semi-friendly monsters, or at least monsters that tend to run away when you meet them. And you can kill them if you want for uh, their drops. They tend to be kind of hard to kill. Uh, let's see. There are other ways to make them easier to kill, like you could uh, cast some illusion spells on them to change their behavior, either make them attack you or um, or get them to calm down, but I don't have any of those spells right now and it tends to be a lot of trouble. Here's an NPC that I have not run into before, let's keep on moving. Hopefully we're getting near the top. Ooh, what is going on? There is some creature up ahead. Oh, it's a troll. Okay, those are pretty dangerous. I think we're going to have to run by this guy. And we're going to do it after that. I hope we're faster than him because if not, we just might be in trouble. Or let's hope that he is not up to chasing us up through here. Again, if you are running, then Bumpy Terrain is definitely your friend. A lot of monsters are very wary of jumping because they can easily get stuck in areas where you're not going to get stuck. Okay, am I making it? I hope I'm making it away from him. Okay. Yeah, the music is usually a pretty good cue as to whether your uh, whether your enemies are near or not and the music has calmed down which is good and I can also see up ahead uh, there's that castle marker on the compass which is a good sign because I believe that's our destination So yeah, the things that are in dark on your compass are areas that you have not visited yet, and so you can't do fast travel to them. They light up when you get near enough that you learn them. And it looks like I have made it to High Hrothgar. Let's keep on lighting things up. And there is the chest that that guy down at the bottom asked me to drop off the supplies into. So let's actually drop that off. Kleenexes, supplies, goods. Now the game does suggest I return to him, but I'm going to take care of actually talking to the Greybeards while I'm up here. After that, I'll fast travel back down to the bottom and uh, speak with him. This area is reasonably well lit. And this is. So, a dragonborn appeared at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Okay. So, ordinarily, you don't want to use shouts on other people. They'll get mad, it will be considered a crime. And yeah, it's generally not a good idea. Why have you come here? We are honored to welcome a dragon. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. So unfortunately, in long dialogues, 
it looks like I'm still going to have trouble uh, with brightness. So, I'm not sure what else I have to do, since I skipped past some of the dialogue and I might have confused the quest system a little bit. That's this guy. So they have this. Where was it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so you pick up more shouts by reading them, normally uh, by uh, looking at word walls. I'm going to be a little bit naughty here and apply. Whoops. And I'm going to try and hit the graybeards with uh, shots. I screwed that up. I have to wait for uh, for the targets to appear. <laughs> okay, and yeah. Also, a neat thing uh, about the game is that a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, random stuff in the game can be knocked around by uh, by your shots. Watch these pots. Oh shoot! Again, I am not following directions. There we go. Actually, accidentally did it right this time. What's throwing me off is that you see the glow that the uh, doubles are appearing out of. It takes a while for the double to actually show up. Okay. So I've made a little bit of a mess. This is an Ironheart. This is boring. So we're actually going to go on ahead and head out to the courtyard. It's not super bright out here. But this is where the trial is going to be, and we're going to wait for them to show up. There we go. So basically, ordinarily, as I said, you have to kill dragons to unlock shouts. 
but these guys will just unlock it for you so that you can do training. Whirlwind Sprint is another pretty useful shout. So, Unrelenting Force is great in combat, uh, in that it will temporarily stun your foes, and at full strength it will uh, push them back quite a bit. Whirlwind Sprint is great for running away, and at low levels you're going to be doing a lot of running away. At high levels you just might be running away uh, just to speed your, uh, your travels um, across the countryside. So open the gate, and I will sprint. So that's uh, that's another quest from these guys, and we will take care of that uh, when convenient. Once you take care of that, then these guys will give you pointers to other places where you can learn shouts. But for now, we're done here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop back down to uh, Ivar's stead and talk with the guy who wanted me to deliver supplies, and he'll give, a, give us a quick reward. And then we're going to pop back over to, um, to White Run because there's a uh, shrine of uh, Talos there, or Talos, and that can cure the disease that we caught in one of the previous, um, one of the previous Let's Plays. Diseases don't impact you a lot, but they will damage some of your stats, or your stat, uh, or your regeneration ability, and that's certainly inconvenient. Where are we going? Shoot, it's right around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay. So we'll pop over here and talk with... Oh, where was it? Okay, let's find out. Okay. Shoot. So he is somewhere around here. Let's pull up the mini-map. He is ahead and to the left at his house. Let's see if we can wait a little bit. Maybe he'll come out so that we don't have to go find him. Because oftentimes when you visit people in their houses, uh, you're, uh, you're trespassing and they'll call the guards on you and that's not a lot of fun. Well, he didn't come out so we'll have to go visit him in his house. Hopefully it's unlocked. If it is locked, we're, we'll just wait more. Okay. We'll open this, uh, his door. And there he is. Ah, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? Quite a climb, wasn't it? Yep. Anyway, much appreciated. 500 gold. Take cool. Your troubles. And then we will head back outside. We will return to White Run and go visit the uh, the, shr the shrine of Talos there. Yeah, so the game has a lot of attention to detail, which is another uh, cool thing about it. Oh yeah, so let's visit her. Oh, it's a little bit late in the game to be buying and selling stuff. So let's 
So we're going to head up. Yeah, I'm going to get you, guy, but later. And that cured us of the disease. And then we're going to head back over to the smith. Oh, yeah, so she asked me to go uh, take care of this guy who was pestering her with romantic advances. I think that guy is in the uh, Bannered Manor. And there are a few times in the game when you're going to have to take care of stuff like this. Um, and by take care, I mean do a fist fight. Let's see, where, where is the guy? I'm a bard by trade. Actually, Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry. That fiery So he's pretty creepy. I don't have to take that from you. So, yeah. It looks like... So, one of the fun things about the game... And this is more important with, uh, with, other, uh, with other player races. Okay, so you've gotten the creepy guy to stop bother, uh, stop bothering Carlotta. Yeah, for um, so you can actually heal yourself without penalty in a fight, which seems like cheating. But what can you do? Let's talk with Carlotta. Let her know that the creepy guy is done. She gives you some uh, some money, which is great. I'm the commander of the guard here in White And we're gonna wait until wait until morning so that we can uh, buy and sell stuff. Now we could go and spend a lot of our money um, buying uh, uh, buying a house. Or, I'm sorry, uh, on using skill trainers to level up our skills. But right now we're actually starting to save for a house. Not a house in this city, You're someone who can get things done. but uh, houses are all very expensive, so you kind of, uh, if you want to buy your first house, you're always going to be saving for a while. So the Smith lady, okay, she's, she's out, I am, uh, she's not ready to buy himself stuff yet. Maybe at noon? Okay, that's nice. Is she ready to buy and sell stuff yet? Yes. That's good. So I need iron ingots if I want to improve some stuff. Don't want to go overboard with buying this stuff at this point. Let's buy eight of them. And we'll first see if, if any of the random stuff that we picked up is improvable. Oh, not just with iron. We need to use the tanning rack to make some leather. So, use all these wolf pelts that we've been scooping up. And the ice wolf pelts. Sweet. And we'll improve the stuff that uh, the armor that we have. We don't need the high value stuff, which basically means we're just going to improve these two pieces of hide armor. There's no checkle armor. Okay, sorry, that's a terrible joke. You think looking to protect yourself? And we will sell armor that we're not using. Okay, the hide armor is not as good as the. Imperial light armor that we're using. All right, then. And let's see if if we picked up any weapons that we can improve. I guess we could improve this Nordbow. 
a little bit more valuable. Improve the hunting bow. Improve iron sword. Okay, that's good. Now, do we have leather straps? Because you need to, you need a few of those, or leather strips. You need a few of those to make most items. We have one. Let's see what, what we can do. We don't yet have what we need to make any jewelry. We can make a helmet. Iron shield. Okay, nothing exciting uh, yet. Now we could start making uh, making some of the, of the components that we would need to uh, some good craft stuff that would improve our carrying capacity, thanks to one of the mods that we have installed, but. We're not going to do that yet. Now we'll just end up selling the stuff that we don't need. Actually, the ancient Nord bow does do a little bit more damage than our hunting bow, but it's pretty. It's heavy, so we're we're just going to sell it. Okay, so that's it for now. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. And we're going to pop out and head to another city that we're going to find useful in a little bit. And once we arrive, uh, we'll end this, um, this Let's Play. So the other city is Riften. Riften is my favorite city. For starters, it has a trainer for smithing, which you're going to find pretty useful in uh, rapidly leveling, leveling your ability to make stuff. It also has my favorite home, and it's reasonably compact as a city, so uh, once you're settled in there, you're going to have the ability to make a, uh, and improve uh, a whole lot of stuff magically and via smithing. Alchemy. So let's talk with him and hire him to take us to Riften. So Riften is also the home of uh, the Thieves Guild, and um, I think it's not super far from the. Uh, uh, the Guild of uh, Assassins. And there are, are a bunch of, uh, of quite fun uh, quests that start in Riften. But yeah, Riften is usually where I first buy uh, a house. And so we're done. And this is the entrance to Riften that we'll be using in a moment. But that will be all for this, uh, this Let's Play. So I will see you in the next one.